Oh, grand rising wonderful souls and welcome to Bronwyn's Cove Tarot. This is a timeless collective reading on what is coming forward. If you are a new face, welcome in. If you're an old one, welcome back. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, your subscribes. Thank you for your donations. They're truly, truly appreciated. And thank you for your emails, emails of confirmation, emails just sharing your stories and emails booking readings. Now, please remember my email has changed. It is no longer Bronwyn's Cove. You can see still try and email that one because I'm still trying to work it out but if you have a look in the description box the second paragraph down with the line of arrows you will find my new email white raven mystics that is the old name that I used to go by okay if you have any queries there if you need a clearing transmission if you just want to share your story please email me there please remember there is still someone going through the comment section pretending to be me uh, pretending to be a friend and pretending to be a pastor okay if it says whatsapp me it's not me okay and it's not someone you can trust if you see that just block and, re and report them thank you so much now when i asked what it was that we should be talking about or what we should be focusing on i was shown um something to do with a police officer and kidnapping okay or something being hidden with kidnapping vulnerable um <clears throat> vulnerable souls so we're going to look into that please remember that energy is fluid okay and that just means that i can be picking up on past present or future energy please take what resonates and remember that this is a collective general reading so i'm going to be picking up on a lot of energies take what resonates and leave the rest now let's have a look we have ebb and flow and effortless okay which is really much a polarization of two different energies because you have someone here that you look at that water flowing and then you look at the ebb and flow upside down someone's definitely trying to push into someone's energy space okay why did i hear will and testament and what's that got to do with the police officer what's going on here activation and when I look at this as well, this is a lot to do with air signs, okay? So you have got water signs coming out to do with your emotions. So we have Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces, but we also have Gemini, Aquarius and Libra. Now, why did I get activation? Because I heard knowledge is key in taking them down when you've got veiled. Yeah, someone, someone does not want a light one, whether that is you, the person you're thinking of, or an, another light one, they do not want this person to be able to see beyond the veil, okay? And that can be the, the veil that's coming up that is thinning around All Hallows Eve, or that's just the veil of your third eye, okay? Because you've got creation here and you've got completion, okay? There's something that is destined for a light one to create, to birth into life, whether that's a child or an idea, but there's something here with um, a dodgy police officer, okay something that they're hiding and it seems that a light one and their third eye activation is getting closer and closer to uncovering this truth and they want to keep it hidden so and whatever creative idea that you have be that in whatever industry that you're in that in where you are following passions lead it's slowly lining up all the dominoes to be knocked down so that this you know this final tower that outs them for what they've done, who they've done it to. It's not just your creativity, whatever it is that you are birthing into life, it seems to be having a ripple effect out onto those who are karmic, those who are still stuck in their cycle or those who have just decided to choose that path of darkness because you've got strength and creation. Someone's definitely trying to get into, someone's in a light one's energy field, okay? There's something here about, um, because I keep hearing illusions or glamour, there's something here about keeping a light one distracted, okay? And they're hoping that this will, because um, I keep hearing energy flow, they're hoping that this will distract them enough to not continue to dig, if that makes sense. Because you've got passion, yeah. Trying to stop this person from following passion's lead, okay? Because this is also to do with fire signs. So you've got Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. Aries is, you know, it's your first house. It's how people see you. Leo is to do with love and romance, but also how you deal with conflict. And Sagittarius is about your faith and philosophies. Okay, so someone is definitely trying to stop a light one being seen for who they are. And also trying to change the trajectory mm. of how this light one follows their passions lead. How they are, you know, how they lead with their faith, but that's faith in themselves or faith in something higher or, or bigger than them. Anything else? One more, please. 
submerged. Something's been hidden for a very long time. And this police officer, whoever they are, I think there's panic because when I actually connected in, um, I, I, I'm also empathic, so I'm intuitive and empathic. And your guides, as well as my guides, will give me the energy that I need to feel as we're going through our readings and as the messages are coming in. And I feel, and I know this is not my energy, it's pure panic, okay? And I can feel it in my chest growing. Someone here is very, very worried because something's about, I want to put it here, but I'm being told to put it here. Something that has been hidden for a while, because I keep hearing a body, and it might not be, Okay, it can be a body of work, it can be a body of information, or it could be a physical body, take it as it resonates. There's something here that's being dug up, and it's put this person in absolute panic. Absolute panic, okay? You've got strength upside down. This person doesn't know if they're going to be able to hide this for long enough, because you've got focus, yeah. There's very much this need for them to know what this light one knows. And I heard as a collective. What does that mean as a collective? Because I heard a group of people are trying to figure this out. Is that on the, the side of light or the side of dark? I heard both. Ooh, how interesting. Now, which one? One or two? This one? Okay, let's have a look. Because underneath you've got tarot and guidance. Someone's definitely, definitely been reading or trying to tap into someone's energy just to find out how far they've got and how much resources they have. Have they linked those dots together yet? Okay. Because this person's been blocked out. Okay. Or they may not be very um, skilled at reading, especially with cards. So they may have gone to somebody else. You've got nature and you've got synchronicities. I mean, sensitivity, sorry. This police officer doesn't seem to be a very spiritual person, okay, but you've got the fourth house coming up, okay, which is cancer, which is to do with emotions. So this person's emotions is all over the place, but they're definitely trying to dig in. Are they paying someone else? And I heard no. It says no, but look what came up. So this is something they're trying to keep quiet. Now, if I place this, where do you want this? Here? Yeah. Something was done for money, okay? There's something they're trying to keep covered up. Something was done for money and it's coming it's coming to the surface. Whoever it is that's working on the side of light, of love, of healing, of justice, is figuring out, there's definitely, because I heard an investigator. Someone's investigating this. Because I heard the police report was hidden. There's something here about stopping someone and then not reporting that they stopped this person and this person going missing. Because mm, you've got prayers and you've got nature. Whoever it is that this person has been praying to or paying to have work done, this person is very disconnected and also their prayers aren't being heard. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at that. There's something here also about hoping and praying and wishing and sending the intent that this light one whether that is you the person you're thinking of or another light one of your divine counterpart will not get to they won't uncover what they need to uncover to put this person away okay and i want to know how this links into you or to this light one okay how does this link in how does this link in Okay, let's see. Perception and sensitivity. There's something about this light one just being very perceptive, the way that they get downloads, their dreams, their aha moments, whether they are clairaudient, sentient, voyant, um, and I cannot remember the last one, but there's something here about <clears throat> the way that you speak your truth, whether you have your own platform, or whether it's just, you know, if you have some sort of um, standing in the community, whether you work with certain charities, um, there's something here about the way that you speak your truth, okay? That is one, wow, yeah, there's, there's, there's been an activation and there's another one coming up where your perception, especially when it comes to your third eye and how you get your downloads, it's, I heard it's opening a can of worms for whoever this police officer is, okay? And this is what they're trying to stop. They want to stop this... Um, light one from receiving this activation that's coming up especially near all hallows eve let's find out yeah look at that illusions 
they're trying their best to place illusions but it's not just illusions there's something here about projecting that panic that worry because I can feel it in my chest and my diaphragm so this person has also because I heard they sold their soul and I heard they sold their soul by capturing others and I think they're talking about other people's souls but there's an, a massive worry because I don't feel lightheaded but I feel like um something's either attached to this person or they they can't sleep properly or they're worrying so much that they're staying up at night like i see someone typing on a computer because change they're trying to place a tower of some sort on this light one's path to completely derail them to bring an illusion to get them to stop digging or stop connecting in the way that they do to the cosmos to you know universal life source to divine source whatever you name it as crystal healing and change now why did i get that because i heard a hex upon your house why did i hear a hex upon your house now let's have a look because in my previous video it was talking about if you have mold or damp or anything like that there's you know this attempt to place a portal of some sort so they can, this whoever this person is can come in and excuse me more or less check and see how far They've been able to derail, delay, stop, place an obstacle on this light one's path. Okay, now you've got here, crocoit. I've never heard of this. This is your sacral chakra. Okay, so this is about how you birth your ideas. You've also got snowflake obsidian. So there's someone here who is trying to, especially with that obsidian, that's all to do with how you ground yourself, how you ground and remove toxic energies, but also how you keep yourself balanced. And crocite, I don't know that much about that crystal, but I know that with that orange, that's to do with your sacral chakra, how you create, how um, you lead with ambition and motivation. So there's definitely this stagnancy that they're trying trying to project now whether that is through that portal because you've got gold with quartz there's a lot of projection in how you go forward in connecting with your ambition and how you connect with other people especially with air signs coming up because gemini is about networking aquarius is about your social circles but it's also about how you think creatively outside of the box and libra is for me it's about business partners and fair rulings so this is very much a big distraction tactic because whoever this police officer is, male, female, they, she, he, this person is, excuse my language, they're shitting themselves, okay? But this person is dangerous, is what I'm hearing. Turquoise, keep speaking your truth, okay? Because this is all to do with your throat chakra, okay? And whenever I think of Archangel Michael, I think of this blue. This blue comes up, okay? So you are very, very protected, from speaking your truth and keep doing so because i heard court hearing adjourned clear quartz clear quartz is an extremely good crystal at magnifying other energies okay so for example if you have um if you are sitting in meditation or you're sitting in you know quiet contemplation and you're focusing for example on your heart chakra if you have clear quartz it's going to magnify that now with it upside down <clears throat> and me straight away putting this right next to perception and activation there's something here about trying to slow down your expansion on also as a magnifying glass at what it is that you are investigating sorry i've got someone at the door give me one second They would have come earlier, but he, did, he told me it was number 50, he had a big parcel for. It's happened so many times. And uh, I said, well, no, well, I went, he goes, it was 44 in the end. I went, oh, I'd like four for 44. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Thank you. Uh, take care. Bye. Ooh. Apologies, I just had the postman come over with lots of parcels. But this, this comes again with this crystals and looking at different crystals. Ah, do you know what? I take everything as a sign in synchronicity and even someone knocking at the door and parcels coming in. There's something here about trying to send, especially with this abundance here, and me asking if this is about money. You have dreams and incubation, and then you have crystals and healing, okay? This police officer may be talking to someone because I'm seeing like a woman with red hair who may be in her 40s or 50s 
talking to this person about um, what divination tools can be used or what ingredients can be used to slow someone down on how they are um, naturally curious in investigating certain things like this or how they connect to their intuition in what resonates especially if and it's not just through picker piles or you know collective reads like this but it's newspapers you know or the news or watching certain documentaries and going one second I just saw something yesterday that was really similar in somewhere else and kind of putting those dots together and they've asked somebody about what crystals can be used and how to reverse the energy of that crystal which again i've said this in videos before it doesn't work like that crystals have their own um programming if that makes sense because they're from the earth they resonate at a vibrational level of, or a, you know a, a frequency level that connects with our, our certain energy points what they have tried to do here and the energy that i'm getting from this is that they have tried to um, place some sort of hex within a crystal and I had to send through a portal or send or project towards this light one whether that is you the person you're thinking of or another light one and especially with the dreams and incubation if anyone sleeps with their crystals make sure you're cleansing them regularly okay because I heard they do protect you while you sleep but there's something here about trying to send some sort of attachment okay trying to send some sort of attachment while you sleep and also it's to do with communications because this is all to do with distortion and illusion coming out okay look yeah there you go to place you on the wrong direction or to get you to start investigating something that has nothing to do with it because i heard um see just a conspiracy theorist there's something here about trying to knock you off of that scent what else needs to come out please and thank you what do we need to see change decks yes okay what we've got at the bottom fragmentation there's something here about this light one having a lot of will and per perseverance and how they heal okay and this is the reason why they haven't been able to knock this um because i'm hearing this light one is like a bloodhound once they once they pick up a scent it's almost um subconscious that they continue to want to learn more uh, in that area and this is something that i think is frightening this police officer especially if they're getting readings do you want me to take this one this one that one or that one let me take this one over here not this one this one okay okay tell me more how does this link in because look there's something they're really worried about that has come out okay and with that stability being there again that's fourth house it's cancer the way that this is linking into a light one is that this is either a family member or someone who is linked to the family or to the um the feminines or the feminine energies in a light one's family whether that is sister cousin mother auntie grandmother mother-in-law there's someone here who is connected to this police officer and i heard associates associates okay yeah look someone who was making a, somebody in the family was making a lot of money over whatever this police officer has got themselves tied up in okay especially with these police reports either being hidden or not actually filled out with vulnerable start, souls being stopped in cars okay there was a lot of money in this for whoever this family member is whoever this matriarch is because look yes you've got power upside down this was um what's the word this was a business okay it was a business proposition okay and you've got masculine lord god so this is about um overpowering others or ov overpowering those that they felt was were weaker than them for money okay tell me more because i heard the kidnap plot went wrong how did it go wrong what do you mean it went wrong because you've got here air air signs gemini aquarius and libra some sort of communication was blocked okay because you've also got aquarius which is again your 11th house which is to do with communities to do with circles of friends you know your social circle but it's also to do with um like i said how you think outside of the box and someone here has been locked out because i heard the freezer spell went back there's something here about 
whoever they were working with and seeing that woman, that woman in her 40s to 50s with red hair, it was very straw-like hair. Um, <clears throat> this person may be a, um, a plant witch, is that right? Or a, or a garden witch or, or a kitchen witch or something along those lines. Okay, because I'm seeing this one wearing a lot of green and being outside. There's something that went wrong because I heard something went wrong with her trachea or with her throat because of her involvement. The last thing that she sent or she helped this police officer with, it backfired, okay? And rather than it, um, what's the word, minimising how this light one investigated into what's happening, it did, it did exactly that to her. And I think it did the same thing to him. Yeah, look. Rather than actually stopping this light one from investigating or following that curiosity, it did the opposite. It did the opposite. Tell me more, please, and thank you. Because you've got spring here, and you've got um, initiation, spirit, and you've also got moon cycles. So there was something they tried to do this spring that's just, you know, just passed. And it was there was some sort of connection. They were trying to connect to someone. And do you know what? I was reading a really interesting article about cemeteries and how <clears throat> there is a warden, a spiritual warden, in not all cemeteries, but in many of them. And it's usually the first um, the first soul that has their vessel buried in that cemetery. Not always, but the um, the job of this um, warden or guardian is to take care of the other spirits of you know take care ensuring that no one is and there's some confirmation ensuring that nobody is desecrating tombs or things like that and i was reading up about that and i got a massive download that i actually wrote down which i think is very important here because this green witch did something and she did it without permission okay and this is part of why this has gone back and it said here, someone didn't ask for permission from the spirit warden of a cemetery they perform necromancy in. All Hallows Eve is going to be scary. That's what I heard in big caps. And this was supposed to be the intention towards a light one. And this is also to do with knocking them not only off of their due north and following passion's lead, because it's connected. It's all interlinked with what these people are doing over here. The more a light one goes forward on their, their due north the more it's actually exposing them for what they're doing okay so the intention was supposed to be to send something to a light one to draw up it says here um trying to raise an army against you and then i heard pay the penance for sacrilege because they desecrated a master's tomb and i also t was told um that they did actually get permission from this warden but they were tricked they were tricked on purpose and that it will come back to bite them and then i saw a massive crocodile and whenever i think of alligators or crocodile i think of amit okay which is an ancient egypt egyptian hermetic principle and amit has the head of a crocodile okay i can't remember the other body parts but they're all different animals put together and her job is to she resides near anubis while he is weighing up the, you know the heart of man or woman um, next to the feather of my at if it is on if it's unequal and the the heart is too weighed down with sin or with you know terribleness or wickedness then that soul is thrown to Amit and Amit eats it now seeing that crocodile come up this is going back to they've done something over a full moon or a new moon or whenever it was and they tried to pull someone up through necromancy and it went terribly wrong they didn't realize that at the time they thought that what they were doing was going to shut this light one up it was going to block them it was going to stop them from being able to either network be able to connect with certain social um circles and also that whatever court ruling whatever evidence that's been hidden would stay hidden okay but come up to all hallows eve or, or halloween the shit is going to hit the fan for them excuse me for for swearing okay because look there's something here also about there may have been a change for a light one in their abundance their wealth just how they balance their connection to that law of abundance in the spring okay they were trying to block this or keep it veiled because all of these things whether it is balance in love balance at work balance in you know finances mental health all of these things coming together for this light one is like another blow for whoever this person is over here because they're all interconnected, okay? Because you've got that here again. 
whatever they've done, especially with this trying to reverse whatever um, reversing around and minimizing the way that a light one connects to their downloads, they've just done the opposite and they keep doing the opposite and not realizing or not understanding why that's happening. And it's because they have, they're still very tapped into the matrix. It's very 3D thinking of um, you go back to the start of them not actually believing in karma, for example, not realizing that it's a, a universal law. They're still in that understanding that, you know, I can send things out, nothing will happen to me, but they are learning because this person here, whoever this, this witch, green witch, this, you know, dark green witch or whoever she is, she's now learning. There's something wrong with her throat, especially her trachea intensification. The more they push at this, the more they're hurting themselves, but they're going to try again. Okay. Tell me more about this police officer. Tell me more. Because I heard they tried to energy harvest this light one until they were really weak because they wanted them in a vulnerable position. And I'd said in like a, re a previous video, and I don't know which one it is, that there was someone here that was either dressing up and pretending to be a police officer or who was and was stopping. They were stopping people in their car or trying to mess up their car so that their car broke down so that they could take them. OK, but this went wrong. How did it go wrong? Tell me, show me. And what was I saying about there being a dark witch? There you go. All right. And you've also got here balance. You place this over here. And then you've got this. Then you've got the spell that went wrong. It went wrong. They try to do something with a light one's money. And they also try to do a money spell for themselves. Because I heard they tried, they energy harvested off a light one to try and bring in more money and it went wrong it didn't work it did the opposite because the thing is as well and this is something that you know i'm learning more and more about each day is that we are all one you know i am an omnist i believe that the energy that flows through you that flows through your cat that goes through a river that you know um, makes the noise of a car go past is the same energy that flows through me it is universal life source which means if I hurt you, I'm hurting myself. If I love you, I'm loving myself. And this is something that they do not understand. And because they placed some sort of weird freezer spell or hex or minimizing your manifestations towards abundance, they've done it to themselves. And the reason why this is not affecting a light one or this light one is seeing this block being removed and slowly abundance is trickling in is because this light one did not retaliate in the same energy, if that makes sense. OK, so when they're trying to do this to you or the person you're thinking of, they're doing it to themselves because you've got a spell in reverse. You've got clear quartz and then you've got abundance. And if you look over here as well, this person, this could have been like January or March, something along these lines. They tried something and they blocked themselves. They've hurt themselves. Yeah, they blocked themselves without a doubt. Anything else that wants to come out? Because you've got awakening and protection. Someone's definitely waking up to the fact that they aren't protected. And I heard the police officer. This police officer is waking up to the fact that whatever it is that they've got themselves involved in, or whatever it is they're trying to cover up, they can't keep it covered up for much longer. And the dream download that I had last night was of me laying down just resting under a blanket and there was someone traipsing around trying to pull up all these blankets there were so many different blankets and they were panicking and getting really angry and that they, they were like where are you where are you where are you and they were and i was just underneath the blanket almost like in that energy of a child playing hide and seek like hey, 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 you'll never find me but very chill and kind of like you do what you need to do and there were so many different blankets some were small, some were big, some were, you know, transparent, some weren't. And this person, and it was a masculine energy, pulling at these blankets. Some of them would come off, some of them wouldn't. And me just laying there, knowing where this person was, but then not knowing where I was. And I had the shoes on the other foot now. How interesting, okay? Because you've got here, look. Yeah, so you have fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius coming out again. This person has blocked themselves, but there's this chaotic energy coming through, okay? This person is really angry. There's something here about, it's like an intelligence game for them. Whatever this person has been doing with vulnerable souls, or kidnapping, or whatever it is, 
it was more to do with the power play and to do with dominance and it was about money okay and there's something here about feeling embarrassed or angry that they've been thwarted by somebody who you know very much embodies both their masculine and their feminine but it's very balanced in their feminine energy and that's irrespective of gender because your feminine energy or your divine feminine energy is about how you create it's how you connect to the cosmos it's how you use your intuition it's how you receive love it's how you you know your self-worth and this person's really angry because i heard i hate women this person does not like women but then they also do not like um, there's something here about not liking men who stand in their fem divine feminine energy that are, you know, quite sensitive with their emotions. And I don't say that in the way of, oh, that person's very sensitive. I mean that that someone who has emotional depth and will read themselves and say, how am I feeling today? Because we do live in a society where we push toxic masculinity all the time, all the time. And this person over here lives for that. They breathe for it because you've got concealment. People are starting to look at this police officer as well. And I've said in previous videos that there is an investigator who is aware of this police officer and is low key investigating them and is like gathering information and they don't want to let this police officer know just yet what's going on. So they're just gathering information. And that's why there is the group of light and the group of dark that are both trying to figure out and go after this. Because whoever this police officer is, that group, that gr group of dark could be a gang, it could be a secret society, it could be, you know, a spiritual community. I'm not sure, you know, pick which one, because I feel like they're all interconnected. But that those that are working for light, it's not only the collective consciousness of people who are tapping into this energy, but there is definitely an investigator working in a small group, a small group with others, and it's kind of hush-hush. But you've got concealment here in, re in reverse. This person, especially with that dream download of trying to pull off all of these blankets, it wasn't so much just about finding that light one that was hiding or just relaxing under that blanket, but it was also trying to find a blanket to hide themselves under, okay? And they're kind of losing it a little bit that they can't. And I think they know that somebody is watching them or someone's investigating them. And that's where that panic comes in, okay? Yeah, that person's worried, okay? Because this is coming up with security in reverse they don't feel as secure in the game that they were playing as before because i just heard serial serial killer vibes wow we okay incubation now why did i get incubation over here in reverse ah, because whatever it is that they're trying to send as an illusion or whatever advice this police officer has got from this woman this, you know, this herbal kitchen alchemist in reverse. There's something, yeah, it's something here to do with this activation and trying to stop it from happening. Because if it happens, you're going to be birthing something bigger than what you expected in a really good way, in a really powerful way. Summer. Okay, this is growth. This is all about your inner child. It's about, like I said, birthing something new. Anything else that would like to come out before I go? I heard advice. So where would you like me to get the advice from? This one or this one? That one, interesting. Let's have a look. So we have best possible decision. Artemis, goddess of the bow, help me see what, what must be known. Okay, the advice here also, and you've got passion upside down. Rise passion, rise up high, inflame my purpose, reach the sky. You're being told to, especially when, it, to keep doing, if you, um, in a previous video heard me talking about the intuition exercise about when you wake up in the morning placing your hands on your chest and saying how do I feel you know and going with that and asking yourself is that your energy is that someone else's energy because this person is really trying to push into this light one's energy so if this reading resonates with you continue to do that exercise if you haven't done it before or you haven't heard me speaking about it the intuition energy um um, what's the word technique is when you first wake up in the morning you know just as your eyes have opened and you haven't really f fit your sleepy brain into waking up brain yet you place your hands on your chest and you just say how do I feel because you are going to get the most honest answer straight away and whatever answer you get respect it because you may wake up and feel angry you may feel sad you may, may, may feel lonely or you may feel happy 
but ask yourself whose energy is this because you will either hear it's yours or you will hear someone else's and you can actually ask whose name whose is it because if it isn't your energy you send that back you send it back you invoke your free will and giving full permission for whoever your protectors are or for yourself to just send that straight back if it is your energy then you can ask yourself why okay because it will bring it up to the up to the the surface for you to either investigate more at that time or a later date you know but this is telling you to make sure that you are reading your energy regularly the more you do that it's like you strengthen that muscle it becomes second nature but with this best possible decision coming up as when you've got this like this hydromancy with illusion and you've got to remember that hydromancy is to do with water it's all to do with your fourth house your emotions as well because it's ruled by the moon there's someone here that is trying to cast your eye away from what it is that you're actually investigating whether that is your due north you know your forward path or whether it is some where you're whether you're going down that rabbit hole and investigating more about what this this person over here is doing okay so you're being asked to just keep checking in with your energy and checking in with your dream downloads and for some reason i feel like uh, like um telling you and i don't know this, if this is for you or another light one if you go to sleep and you have very vivid dreams you are being encouraged to ensure that when you are going to sleep that you call on your protectors to protect your dreams and to also ensure that you're getting authentic downloads that are not coming from this person and not coming from that person you can ask your protectors to place an object a color a theme in part of your dreams that have been invaded or or is false information and by job it works okay so if you're having dreams and you're not sure which part of it is actually a download that is coming from your highest resonance light team members and what parts are incorporate that invoke your free will and giving full permission for whoever your protectors are to place a blue stone or a, a yellow duck or the you know a theme of red next to those who are false downloaders and you will see and the more that you do that the more that you'll be able to dis, um, discern which is actual information that you need and that that you know that your your guides are giving you because it's an urgent message and what isn't okay because that means that when you wake up in the morning and you see you or you saw that theme of red you know straight away that when you say how do i feel if you're feeling apprehensive and you don't usually do you know that straight away that dream was invaded and you send it straight back okay because you've got fertility and best possible decision okay someone is definitely trying to pull the wool over the eyes of a light one in how they create and how they birth that idea and how they get that activation that makes their third eye just blow up in a good way okay because you've got harmony and best possible decision whenever i get harmony harmony it reminds me of um archangel metatron someone needs to incorporate some sort of connection or calling to archangel metatron someone may actually need a clearing transmission as well i do have a clearing transmission it is not mine it is from an, a different a different person but if you do need it please let me know it's very powerful it's extremely effective and it's something that you should use more than once as in once you have used it and you have cleared that away that maybe next month you use it again incorporate that into your you know your your monthly spiritual routine because you've got knowledge and best possible decision okay this is all coming down to discernment and and your intuition and how you read energy because these people will still try because this person over here is very worried about what it is that's been hidden coming to light now with spirit here as well there's something going on here with whoever it is that's been you know if someone was kidnapped or if a vulnerable soul was taken and has passed over there's an information coming through from that actual um passed over energy because i heard i'm going to out them all i'm going to out them all anything else that would like to come out yeah look harmony it's about bringing things back into balance and safe travel okay so this says harmony as i create i will share harmony divine with love and care so you definitely have either archangel metatron or this could also be whoever this 
helpful spirit is that's in a light one's home because if you look at my previous video talking about um removing mold and things like that there's definitely an energy there that wishes to help that may not actually be part of a light one's team but is saying this is not my job but i'm coming in and helping you and then you have safe travel and it says keep me safe and let me roam far away but bring me home this is someone who wishes or an energy that wishes to keep a light one safe as they travel themselves in their car on the bus or whether that's in astral you know in the astral realm you have a protector here that's coming in that's saying do you know what i'm going to let you know when this person tries to invade or i'm going to place a shield around you when you're driving your car which i think is beautiful look and i have something that i need to let you know about this person or about this person and i heard their weak spots boom it says let me connect above and below let the knowledge of ancestors flow wow okay spilling the tea and here you have true love come to me in reverse true love shall come to me as i do will so mote it be and it's in reverse they're also letting you know that whatever attachments they've tried to place on the light one's heart didn't work because they're too balanced they're too balanced oh my goodness anything else before i go switch decks what deck would you like me to get that one okay let's get one last bit of advice what have we got here aloha healing this is definitely someone who is trying to attach some sort of um stagnant wound or cord or something along those lines because look voodoo back off because i heard it backfired it backfired it backfired let me see what we got here yeah it backfired we place that here and this this uh witch over here or whoever this person is they're wishing that they did not play around in that um cemetery because there was something here about being tricked by the warden spirit or the guardian of that cemetery because it says here attempting offer has a high price there's a price that they have to pay for trying to raise whoever it was that they were trying to raise to to send towards this light one okay because you've got a clear solution and you've also got love is strange they've sent something back to themselves okay either stalker vibes or something along those lines because whoever this person is is quite deranged clear, a clear solution okay someone may be getting quite strong um like i said uh, <clears throat> vivid dream downloads they may be having waking dreams pay attention to what it is that you are thinking of okay especially if you are someone who has a lot of downloads start noting them down start noting them down release your power and working too hard this person is draining themselves I'm going to leave it there. I really hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity on what you already intuitively knew. If you are new to my channel and this um, resonated for you, I'd love for you to hit on the like, the subscribe and on the notification bell so you can see more of my content. And if you are a returning subscriber, as always, I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Um, you make this so worthwhile and without you, I wouldn't be here. So I appreciate you. Um, anyone that would like to have a personal reading, I am now opening my services to one hour reading slots also. Um, the space is quite limited because I don't have a lot of time during the day to film. So if that interests you, um, please let me know. All of my information is in the description box down below. Look for the blue row of arrows and my email will be in there. With that being said, I hope you guys have an awesome morning, afternoon, evening or night. And I'll, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye you guys. Bye.